everybody. Prep Nurse One here. Oh my goodness, it's been a long day. All right, so uh, this video. Well, first of all, it's still Thursday, the twenty eighth. Yes, twenty eighth of January, two thousand and twenty one. Please forgive me. First of all, I'm going on about four hours of sleep. Okay, so uh, I had some things I had to do today, some running, and so of course I did some prepping. All right, so this video. Is going to be about prepping, uh, kind of showing you my prepping haul and my reasoning behind what I got and stuff like that. Okay, so first of all, uh, I did stop at uh, Walmart. Uh, it's where everything is at, unfortunately. So you do what you got to do. But uh, so they had a uh, case here. One, two, three, four, five. So there's ten, ten boxes, uh, twelve lids and bands. In the box, and these are regular mouth uh, lid, lids and bands, right? So you got 12 in each box, so you're looking at what uh, 120 altogether, okay? I have not seen now, of course, this year has been a year where just lids themselves forget about it, okay? You're not getting lids now, thankfully. Um, I'm a prepper, right? So I have a lot of lids already, but again. Um, in a situation like it is right now, I figure if it's there, grab it. So what I did is uh, they had the case of 10, so I grabbed those. And um, so I just added another 120 lids and uh, another 120, um, you know, rings as well. Okay, so that was the first thing, so we're going to move that out of the way. Next, while I was at Walmart, I always look... For canning stuff first. That's my first go-to um, if I go to Walmart just to see if they have anything uh, that I want or that I need and stuff like that. Now, um, now today I will say this. They had the generic lids there today, but I'm not going to buy the generic lids. They're not as good. Uh, they have a tendency to fail more. Um, that's, ball lids are just the better lids to get, so that's why I always get the ball lids. But anyway, um, this here is uh, six half gallon, 64 ounce jars with lids uh, they had three cases of them there so you know one two and then the third one is down over here so I picked those up as well always use them I like to use these for more of uh, long-term storage uh, like for rice uh, beans and that type of thing so um, that's what I like to use those for oatmeal that type of thing okay next um, this is number one because I really like this, and it's, they don't generally have it in stock. Um, vegetable beef, condensed vegetable beef. So there's 12 in a case. Uh, so they had like a case and a half, and I just I just picked up to 12. So I like that soup. I know it's out of a can and all that good stuff, but uh, I absolutely. And it says on here uh, best if used by one six of 23. Okay, so you know couple years according to their what they're saying which means it'll last a whole lot longer than that but uh, I really like these so that's why I picked those up um, I also today obviously you'll be able to see it right on the packaging it's Walgreen uh, foam tape this is a really good tape uh, I, I really like and I recommend this tape because it is waterproof uh, cushions and protects it stays on wet, stretches and conforms, uh, dermatologist tested for sensitive skin. So this is a really good tape if you're out in the field, if you will, and you have to bandage up a wound, you don't have to worry about the tape coming off and stuff like that. So I really, really like this tape. So um, Walgreens, Walge Walgreens had three, so that's how many I got. Um, now they had a bunch of other stuff and I was really eyeing it up and I was debating whether to load up on some other stuff but I didn't today uh, but that tape is really good tape to have and that's why I like to try to grab that when that is available uh, next thing I picked up 22 long rifle it is uh, 333 rounds okay uh, again yeah this was a Walmart purchase and I generally don't buy my ammo at Walmart but uh, it's been getting more and more difficult to pick up ammo. So they had three boxes. So I said to the kid, I'll take all three boxes. And he's like, oh, sir. He goes, I'm sorry. We're only selling, excuse me, one box per customer so that everybody gets a chance to have some ammo. 
I'm like, okay, well then I'll take one box. Um, it was $18 for this box, and I figure, you know, I have 22 ammo on hand already, but again, now I have another 333 rounds. Uh, definitely never a bad thing. Uh, the next thing that I picked up, and I wanted to show you this, a nice heavy-duty coat, okay? Uh, and this is uh, Dick Dickie's. It's a Dickie's coat. I will be using this. You'll be seeing me in this a lot more recently when I, when I start, obviously, using it, which will probably be tomorrow. Uh, really good, solid, heavy-duty coat. And so, again, you can never have too many coats, too many things to keep you warm and stuff like that. Uh, the next thing I got, I got just because um, it is the attitude of my cats. So, <laughs> I picked up this t-shirt. I do what I want, because that's exactly what they do. They do exactly what they want. So, that was just more for fun. So, I had to get that one. Uh, here's something else, too, that I think that's important as well. Sweatpants. Stretchy sweatpants, right? With the tie. Uh, does this one get, yeah, it's got the tie in the front. Okay, why, why stretch your sweatpants, right? Okay, in a post-event, all of us will be losing weight. We will all be getting thinner. Uh, so our regular jeans, like these jeans that I have on right now, will not fit me anymore because they're going to be too big. So, but if you have sweatpants, stretchy sweatpants, um, it doesn't matter if you've lost weight. You can just tie them a little tighter and they're good to have. Uh, I, I like those, um, and I'll probably use those more of a, as a lounge pant anyway and stuff like that around the house. Very comfortable as well. So if you're going to be doing a lot of bending and st stooping and picking things up, it, it's a really good thing to have. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I picked up, this is something else you really can't have too much of. I picked up more socks. So this is 12 pairs of socks. Um, this just happens to be Hanes <laughs> Crew Cut. But uh, you can never, ever, ever have too many socks. Keeping your feet dry in a post-event is going to be hugely, hugely important. So I want you to think about that. Um, I picked up the third thing I got, or next thing I got, uh, water-resistant cowhide uh, pair of gloves. Always, you know, these are more of a winter glove. And so I wanted to pick that up just because, again, I have, do I have winter gloves? Yep, I sure do. But... Again, in a post-event, guys, and I've said this before and I'll say this many, many more times, you're going to have what you have at that point. So to have extra of things, uh, remember the Navy SEAL saying two is one, one is none? That's what this is all about, okay? So um, I picked up this pair of gloves, and again, uh, you know, I will definitely be utilizing them, especially with the colder weather. Uh, the next thing I picked up is I picked up two jars of Hellman's mayonnaise, Okay. I like Hellman's mayonnaise. As a child, we grew up on Miracle Whip. And uh, when we would go to my grandmother's house, Grandma always used Hellman's. And I just always like the taste of Hellman's better. I only keep, as a backup for Hellman's, maybe three jars because they don't always last that long. Um, they will go bad. So uh, this, what does this say on here? Uh, I'm not seeing a Best Buy date on here. Okay, well, anyway... But again, that's something I only keep, like I said, about three jars in backup. I'll be using one jar. I get a couple that I use as backup. Now, the third, the last thing that I'm going to show you, and I think this is kind of important uh, just because we are going to need entertainment. Uh, I have a ton of books on prepping, all kinds of information that ways, but we are still going to need to have escapes, uh, ways to not think about what's going on and stuff like that. So I like... Lee Child, okay? I love the Jack Reacher series. Um, he's got a lot of Jack Reacher books out there, and I just, I think it's phenomenal. So, uh, I just picked that up, and, uh, you know, you always have to have entertainment. Now, I'll obviously read this before SHTF happens, but again, I can always just save it, and down the road, we can, anybody else wants to read it, then it's there. So those are those are just what I, some of the things that I picked up today, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I think it's important to continue to prep when you have the opportunity. When you have the opportunity to pick up canning jars, when you have the opportunity to pick up lids, or you know, and um, rims, absolutely do it. What happened, loose? Did that box not be comfortable? Um, but I think it's important, and uh, I think we should 
continue to prep, continue to do what we can do. Uh, but again, everything, it, it's so weird when I go out, my mindset is always prepping. It's always prepping. It never changes. What can I get? What can I use that's going to help me in my group in a post event? Uh, and I've said this before, like I said, and again, when the time comes, you're going to have what you have. There's not going to be any more times to the store. No more extra trips to go and get these. Oh my God, we forgot we should have got this or got that other thing. It's not going to be there. That opportunity is not going to be there. So to be able to take care of your business now while we have that opportunity to load up on your preps, to be as ready as you can be. Now, guys, I'll tell you what. I got a bunch of jackets, and I have a bunch of sweatshirts and all that type of stuff. But, again, in a post-event, you are going to be outside a lot more. Uh, you're going to be in inclement weather a lot more. So having something that's going to be comfortable, that you can utilize, it's, it's going to be so much better for you. Now, I don't know if you can hear them in the background. The puppies are not happy. They are outside at the moment. I just did not want the chaos. It's bad enough with the chaos with the cats. Uh, I do not want the chaos with the dogs with doing this video. So uh, that is why they are not in the house. So as soon as I get this video off, I will definitely be going out and getting them now. But uh, So anyway, um, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some ideas. Um, kind of hopefully that helps with my thought process so you can kind of analyze what you're doing and think, you know, this is a good idea, I like that, I don't like this, whatever the case may be. But hopefully I give you some ideas and it really, it's important to continue to prep, continue to get ready. Uh, again, we just never know what's going to happen. So it's really, really important to stay steady, stay focused, um, you know, don't lose sight. And guys, if you can do it while you have the time and the opportunity, stack it as high as you possibly can. Okay? That's really, really important. Get as much as you possibly can. There is no thing is too much. Let me just put it like that. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to jump off of here for now. Uh, I just, again, once again, I got home. I had some hot coals. And I just fed that fire just before I started this video. So, um... It's comfortable in here, which is good, but uh, I just got the fire going again. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Um, you know, we are one race called the human race, and I think people do lose sight of that. Uh, also remember to hug and kiss your, the ones that you love. Tell them every day. Uh, tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. And the third thing is STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. Nobody else is going to stop you. So stay positive, stay focused. Um, don't feed into the negativity. Don't let it manipulate you. Do what you got to do and make your goals and meet your goals. Okay. Um, last thing I want to mention real quickly on my website, www.preppernurse1.com. Um, I'm still running my sale. That will be ending on the 4th of February. So got about what six days left, so seven days left. Um, so fourth of February, fourth of February, that sale will be ending. If you go to my website, preppernurse1.com, you click on store, it drops down. It'll say Legacy Foods. You click on Legacy. What they have available is there. When you check out, twenty percent will be taken off automatically at checkout. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, GMO free, made in the U.S. Uh, you know it is uh, twenty-five year shelf life in the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies. It is also vegan. So if you do want to have meat, you can purchase meat separately to add on to it, okay? So just sharing that with you, all right? I will talk to you all later. Uh, oh, and we do have gluten-free available, too, for those of you that are uh, gluten intolerant. All right, so I will see you all later. I hope everybody's doing great. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And, of course, now I kicked it.